We really messed up this time. We've traveled for many, many years, but we still make big mistakes. Luckily, we realized them on time, or otherwise this mistake would have been really, really bad. Three, thank you. We really messed up. Let me tell you why. Hey guys, before I tell you what we did, I wanted to let you know where we're at and where we're going. We had to fly in pretty late last night here at the LAX and spend the night at the Holiday Inn because our international flight leaves out of here very early. Where are we going? There's a hint in McKenna's shirt, so keep an eye. Let me tell you a hint of where we are going. Unfortunately, the flight we got to Tokyo was a connecting flight through Seattle. During the flight to Seattle, we saw Mount Rainier, which was really cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing it next month. Hint, hint. We had a very small amount of time to get to the Tokyo flight when we arrived in Seattle, so we had to rush. When we arrived to the gate, we got really excited when we noticed our plane in Team USA's aircraft. After 10 exhausting hours, it was nice to be welcomed by some anime and cartoons. Just a little thing my dad does every time we exit every airport. He screams hello like someone knows him, which embarrasses me very much. Hello! Okay, so we're in Japan, or the, uh, the airport at least, and it's um, intimidating. <laughs> they don't specifically tell you where to go or anything, so we're just playing like we're reading picture books and trying to determine what looks like a train and what does not. So I would want to ride on the train and I got, I had to get the cute Sanrio cards because why not? They're $3 extra at FYI but they're adorable. And I think it's going to take us forever to figure out how to get to our hotel but let's see how long it takes. So right at the airport there's an information booth and that's where you buy the cards and you can recharge them as much as a little as you want. Okay. Nothing like a first experience of the subway in a new country. Just out of the airport, so <laughs> McKenna's gonna guide us to the hotel. Where's McKenna? Yep, you heard my dad correctly. I navigated the subway all the way until the hotel, which was very easy. And was so easy, I could probably be the one navigating them through the entire trip. Foreshadowing. The next stop is Bokenachi, Z8. Welcome to the Royal Park Hotel, Tokyo. Before we show you the hotel, we saw a statue of a dog in the lobby, and it was so cool that it had a connection to a shrine nearby. In March 2016, the original sculpture was reinstated at Suitango Shrine and now resides in the left-hand side of the shrine's precincts. Dogs are traditionally considered symbols of safe and healthy childbirth in Japan, and this sculpture is said to bestow childbearing and rearing good luck to those who stroke her head. Suotengu, meaning Palace of Water Devo or Palace of Suoten, it's a Shinto shrine dedicated to four deities, Ameno Mina Kanushi, Antoku, Kenren Mon In, and Nino Ama. We decided to stay at the Royal Park Hotel in Nihonbashi, as it was quite close to everything we wanted to see in Tokyo. 
Nihonbashi is close to the financial district and many restaurants. Let's listen to McKenna play on the piano here. If you are looking to get married, this hotel hosts weddings and has a chapel on its location, large venue areas, and an in-house photographer. So the Royal Park Hotel has quite a few options for dinner. So you can have Chinese, there's uh, sushi, so they have bento boxes, tempura upstairs. They have a restaurant that we've just booked into, so we're going to go into shortly and explain our experience to you. And they also have a Chinese restaurant behind and a bar so you can grab some drinks after hours it is not open so things kind of open up a little bit later here so our first reservation for lunch is at 11 30 so that's when a lot of these restaurants open up we're gonna go check out the rest of the shops in the hotel there's a sweet shop and there's some clothing stores down below When you head downstairs by their escalators towards the direction of the metro, you will see a few small boutique shops on the way. They each hold unique clothing and gifts for sale. This hotel conveniently is situated in the Tokyo Metro Station, and its exit is line Z10. This hotel also offers a variety of meeting and business rooms available to book on the 18th and 20th floors. The Royal Park Hotel has a gym on site with various weights and machines to use during your stay. Also a yoga facility. They also host a La Asatayan Spa that will engage all of your senses. Massages and facial prices vary and you will need to pre-book. Room tour. So we ended up with a deluxe twin room which allows each of us our own bed. McKenna has a pull-out sofa. The room was nice sized considering we're in Tokyo. And our favorite part of this room was the pink toto that was warm every time you sat on it. My parents made a huge mistake. Last year we were supposed to go to Tokyo, Japan, but it got canceled because of the pandemic. We were also supposed to go to Italy, but it also got canceled because I did not have the booster shot. So two days before this trip, I asked them if there was any more vaccination things, and guess what? Where does the Easter Bunny live? I don't know where the Easter Bunny lives. Nobody. <laughs> So I got my booster shot. It was not fun, but now we're in Japan, so. Next week on McKenna Travels, we visit one of the only Pokemon cafes and stop by my mom's favorite Snoopy Cafe. Here we buy a huge Snoopy bonbon and travel with it through Harajuku, scramble with it across Shibuya Crossing, squeeze with it through the tight alleyways of Omoede Yokochu in Shinjuku, and more. Thank you for watching our channel, and please subscribe, leave a comment below, and ring the bell for our next video notification. We'll see you next weekend, guys.